What's up? Another day, another vid. And this one is kind of special because it's part three on how to draw the Loomis head. But I'm gonna be showing you how to draw the Loomis head from 15 different angles. It's actually very simple. It just takes a lot of practice. All right, so what to expect, all right? In this video, I'm going to be taking you through and showing you how you can use a simple compass tool to create your basic circle and then how you can incorporate the side plane with your vertical and your horizontal axes and use those to draw your hairline, your brow line, the bottom of your nose, and then use those two sections to build out the third section of the face, which is from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. The first five angles are gonna be with your subject looking straight on. The next five angles are gonna be with your subject looking up. And then the next five angles after that are gonna be of your subject looking down. Don't stress if it seems complex, it's, it's not. It, it only seems like it is because you've never done it before but you have me to help you every step of the way, all right? Now, before we jump into it, make sure that you like, make sure that you subscribe, and then make sure that you turn on all the notifications so that you never miss when our latest and greatest videos hit the channel. You know, it's really actually a lot of fun. Portraits can scare off a lot of amateur artists. <sighs> But just like anything in life, practice makes perfect. So let's practice. Okay, so for this one, we're going to be using Prismacolor's Premier colored pencil lineup. We are going to be drawing with peacock green here. I think we'll do all the angles looking down with that one. We're going to be using Copenhagen blue here for all of the angles looking up. Yes, and then we're also going to be using crimson red for all of the angles looking straight on. And of course, we're going to be using one of my favorite tools, the compass, yes. The reason why is because of all the steps when it comes to drawing the Loomis head, I think that drawing the basic circle is the hardest. So, you know me. Tools make everything easier, and so why not use a tool so that we can get a perfect circle every time with very minimal effort. Just like this here, just like this. Let's press your compass down against the paper, then nice and light, just do a couple spins and boom, we have our basic circle. How nice is that? I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do five heads per row and I think we're going to end up doing three rows and that should equate if my math is correct three times five is 15 so 15 different angles for the head okay so that was done on a three quarter to one so let's tighten this up a bit and go to half of one We'll put our compass right back where it was for the first two angles because these are going to be profile angles here. And this is the side plane. So this is basically the plane of the side of the human head here. Now that we have our side plane established, we're going to go ahead and we're going to punch in the vertical axis. And now we're going to do the horizontal axis. We got our hairline our brow line, and the bottom of our nose. The 
and starting from the brow line, we're going to go straight down. And then right when we feel that we have about the same amount of distance from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin, we're going to make our mark. We're going to pull halfway down to a punch in the back of the chin. Then we're just going to pull that line from the chin to the jaw. And then we're going to go from the center of both axes. Bring the line over and down. And this is our cheek plane. And then we're going to reinforce the plane of the temple. And then we're just going to beef up the front of the head. And then of course the back of the head, we're just going to pull down like this and then straight down. Boom. Just like that. And, the, and this is all going to be in real time, okay? And I want you guys to draw these with me. All right, so same song and dance, just the reverse. Vertical axis, horizontal axis, hairline, brow line, bottom of the nose line, from the brow line, straight down, boom, bottom of the chin, bottom of the nose, eyebrow line, start of the jaw, hook the start of the jaw to the bottom of the jaw, pull up, cheek plane from the center of both axes to the bottom of the jaw, reinforce the plane of the temple, front of the neck, back of the head, back of the neck, just like that. Now straight on. So this is this one's a little trickier. Side plane. Just roll up and then straight down. And then go from here to there. And then from here to there. From the side and then straight up. There we are. Horizontal axis. Boom, boom. Don't really need to worry about the vertical axis on the side plane in this one. Hairline. Brow line, bottom of the nose, center line, and then right about where you feel comfortable. Equal distance right there, start of the jaw on both sides, and then from the start, just straight over, boom. Start of the jaw, straight over, boom. There you go. Plane of the cheek, boom. Plane of the cheek, there we are. Wonderful. And then the next right about there. But this is all real time, guys. I mean, you can see. The more you draw Loomis heads, the faster and the more confident you will become. All right, let's just reinforce. This is top of the eyebrow, bottom of the nose, bottom of the chin. It's that rule of thirds right there. All right, so now let's do a three-quarter turn from the right side of the head, looking off to the left. So we have our side plane, our vertical axis, just straight up and down, right? Straight up and down. Horizontal axis, straight across. And then what I like to do is I like to do what I call a temple plane right here. Boom. And that just helps bring out the dimension of the head. So after we've established our hairline, our brow line, and the bottom of our nose, we just pull this down, go right to about there. Boom, there's the bottom of the chin, start of the jaw. And then we just pull up like this. Boom. And then we just connect the jaw, the bottom of the jaw to the start of the jaw, just like that. And then from the center of the axis, over and down. Voila. There's the cheek, there's the temple, reinforce the back of the head, and then straight down, there's the neck. And then here's the front of the neck somewhere right there. Wonderful. Eyebrow, bottom of the nose, bottom of the chin. It helps us beef up the uh, rule of thirds in the front plane of the face, and then of course the jaw here. And then we're doing the exact opposite from left looking to the right. There's our side plane, vertical axis, 
straight up and down. Horizontal axis, straight left to right. Temple plane, pull the hairline over, pull the brow line over, pull the bottom of the nose line over. Establish your center line. This is the center of the face. Pull down equal amount, boom. Whenever you're pulling that line from the bottom of the nose to try to find the bottom of the chin, do an equal amount. Same distance from the brow line to the bottom of the nose. You do that same distance from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. Reinforce the back, pull the line down, front of the neck, boom. Reinforce the temple plane and the cheek plane and you're good to go. Okay, so now let's pull our crimson red out. Now we're gonna do all of the angles where your subject is looking up. Okay, so we're going to use our good old Copenhagen blue here. Good old Copenhagen blue. So we're going to adjust our compass to three quarters of one. We're going to go over, we're going to go right about here. Same song and dance as before. Same thing. Just going to make a nice quick little circle. We're going to do five of them where we're looking at our subject from five different angles, but the subject is looking up in all of them. By now, I hope you're starting to see that even though we are drawing different angles, right, depending on how your subject is sitting or how you wish to draw them, it doesn't really matter because the thing about the Loomis head is that it is a principal understanding. And by understanding this method, you can draw most any portrait with ease. Okay, now we're gonna adjust this to half of one. Because again, these are for our two profile views here. Okay, so now we want to basically switch our vertical axis to where it's going more left to right and then our horizontal axis more up and down. Hairline, brow line, bottom of the nose. Boom, boom, boom. Now, start from the hairline. Okay, and follow the contour of the circle. And then when you hit the brow line, you go straight down. You establish your chin, bottom of the chin, bottom of the nose, the eyebrows, beginning of the chin, connect the bottom of the chin to the beginning of the chin, and then you pull from the center of both axes to the bottom of the chin, and there's your cheek plane. And then you reinforce the temple plane, and while we're here, we'll just beef up the front of the face here, okay? Beef up the bottom of the chin. And right about there, we're just gonna go like this. Reinforce the bottom of the skull and then straight down, boom. Just like that, and all of a sudden, we have a profile shot of our subject looking up from the right side. We're gonna do the exact opposite, right? Mirror reflection. Establish our vertical axis, horizontal axis, our hairline, our eyebrow line bottom of our nose start from the hairline follow the contour and then right when we get to the eyebrow line we go straight down straight down same distance establish the bottom of the chin bottom of the nose eyebrow line beginning of the chin connect the bottom of the chin to the beginning of the chin just like that and then the front of the throat Reinforce the back of the skull and straight down back of the neck in the center of both vertical and horizontal axis pull down to the bottom of the chin reinforce the temple plane and boom that easy that easy okay so now one that's a little harder this is straight on 
just like the one above, only our subject, instead of looking straight on, like the red Loomis head, it's looking up. It's looking at us, but it's looking up. Okay. So, after we have our side planes established, the trick with this one is when you go to draw your lines, your hairline, eyebrow line, nose line, give them a little slight arc. Give them a slight arc. And then you have your center line, pull that down. And then when you go from the bottom of the nose down, you don't go all the way down, you go about halfway, half the distance, and then you cut it off right there. Okay, and what this does is this gives that illusion of the head being tilted back, right? And then you and then rather than giving the start of the jaw, you just pull that line from bottom of jaw and hook it to the um, side plane. And then you come over and then down. Okay, do you see that? And then you pull the neck down. See how we have elongated the neck, right? And it looks like the chin is is shorter because we're looking up it's a different angle just reinforce these lines a bit and then what you can do to really sell it is put a nice little drop shadow here right nice little drop shadow there we are boom we're not winning any awards here right this is just fun we're just having fun that's all this is this is this is practice right if this was a sport this is a skirmish like we're not we're not getting serious here. This is, we're just having fun. This is just a principal exercise, guys. That's all this is. Have fun with it. Draw hundreds of these heads, different angles. Draw them slow. Draw them quickly. Doesn't really matter so long as you're drawing them. Every single one of these heads, I'm doing it the exact same way. We've got our center line, pull down bottom of the chin, mark it, and then pull up and over, boom. There's that side of the face, eyebrow line, bottom of the nose, start of the chin, connect bottom of chin to start of chin, center of the axis, pull over and then down. There's your cheek plane, reinforce your temple plane, reinforce your cheek plane again, if you will. The back of the head, the back of the skull, right? Back and then down front of the throat just down there you go the biggest thing when it comes to the Loomis head is this right here is that is that side plane and how you angle that vertical axis that vertical axis is everything that's what dictates if your subject is looking up if they're looking straight on or if they're looking down as you can see, bottom of the chin, bottom of the nose, eyebrow, pull up, there's the front of the face, start of the chin to the bottom of the chin, back of the skull, back of the throat, and from the center of both axis, there's our cheek plane, there's our throat, reinforce the temple, and that's it. All right, so those are all the angles of our subject looking up. Now, let's draw our subject looking down. All right, and for that, of course, we're going to switch it up to our peacock green here. Same thing. Let's have fun and let's uh, establish that basic circle first. Every good portrait, every good drawing of someone starts with a rock solid foundation. And that's one of the reasons why I thoroughly enjoy this method is because it is the simplest method that I have found that teaches you muscle memory and fundamentally speaks to the foundation that you need for a successful drawing. All right, so we're just gonna adjust this from a three quarter to a half inch so that we can establish the side plane here for these last two 
profile views where our subject isn't going to be looking straight on. They're not going to be looking up. Now they're going to be looking down. Okay. So you might notice that the horizontal axis and the vertical axis are going to be the same. However, we're going to be doing the opposite. So we have our hairline, our eyebrow line, the bottom of our nose. Okay. Start from the hairline, pull down, hit the eyebrow line, straight down from there. And then when you have the same amount of distance between the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin as you do between the eyebrow line and the bottom of the nose, make your mark, start your chin from the bottom of the vertical axis, pull your cheek plane from the center of both axes, build up your temple plane, in the back of the head and just roll that line straight off the back of the head so it looks like your subject is like looking down at their feet or looking down at the ground or looking down at a child okay vertical axis horizontal axis hairline eyebrow line bottom of the nose from the hairline to the eyebrow line then straight down from the eyebrow line equal spacing bottom of the chin, beginning of the chin, connect the two, bottom of the nose, eyebrow line, center of both axis, it's the beginning of your cheek plane, reinforce your temple plane, back of the skull, back of the neck, just like that. Okay, so here we go, another straight on profile, same thing, once you establish this one, you go from the top, straight over mark bottom straight over mark circle and then straight up for these all you really have to do is just draw your horizontal axis you don't really have to worry about your vertical axis now for here you kind of put a bow in it right a bow so that you actually have a lot more of the top of your head showing see that and then your center line down down and then you can do, for this one, you can do about half, right? And then just, you can start a little bit of the beginning of your jaw, just a little bit though, a little bit. And then you just pull over, boom, and boom. Okay, see how that makes it look like the subject is kind of looking down, right? Where we're, it's almost like we're seeing more of the top of their head, right? And then the cheek planes pull over and then down over and then down and that gives it the illusion that the subject isn't looking up but that they're looking down at the ground see that and then notice how there's just barely any of their throat showing that's because their jaw because they're looking down is covering the majority of their throat yeah okay so now we're going to do our three quarter looking at our subject and looking at the right side of their face vertical axis horizontal axis temple plane hairline, eyebrow line, bottom of the nose, center line from the very top, down, down, equal spacing, bottom of the chin, boom, just like that, bottom of the nose, eyebrow line, from the chin up, follow the circle, lift up as you conclude, start of the chin, connect it to the bottom of the chin, from the center of both axis to the bottom of the chin, Reinforce the temple plane, back of the skull, and down. Easy enough? Let's do it again. Our side plane, vertical axis, horizontal axis, temple plane, hairline, eyebrow line, bottom of the nose line. Center line, equal spacing, bottom of the chin, beginning of the jaw, connect to the beginning of the jaw to the bottom of the chin, pull up, center axis to the jaw, reinforce the temple plane, back of the skull, and the throat, eyebrow line, bottom of the nose, chin. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, 
If you enjoyed this one, uh, just be aware I am on Skillshare where I have all of my pet portrait tutorials. So be sure to check me out there. I'll have a link in the description along with all the tools that I use in my tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay happy, stay healthy, and remember, never stop drawing.